r slash ask reddit what's the biggest scam in life that no one wants to admit how the fuck does health insurance not cover dental and vision what kind of shenanigans is that we work the majority of our lives during our fittest years of health for the promise of a golden retirement when we will probably too old and ill to enjoy it properly the easy to join difficult to cancel subscription model online convenience fees the entire wedding industry to be clear not marriage but weddings specifically I'm happily married to my wife and we were content to do something special just the two of us maybe spend a couple of grand and treat ourselves a little bit to something amazing Cue the families getting involved and before you know it we're spending closer to 20 grand on one day and feeding a bunch of people I've not heard of before or since the wedding. Mom, tell me the truth and I won't be mad. The subscription based economy. Ticketmaster. Paying exorbitant amounts of money for health insurance and still having to pay boatloads of cash for any doctor slash hospital visits. Reddit Awards Click here to unsubscribe to this email notification $18 Salad LOL Hustle Culture Data Caps Diamonds That large global companies actually care about you Free Trial Noise Enter your card details Fuck Edit, this is a joke, I do understand how subscriptions work. The prices of anything baby related. Toys, food, clothes, etc. Was in a store on Saturday to get a cot mattress and cover. I cried. That we're supposed to work for the rest of our lives. Claw machines in arcades. Buying a star and naming it. A waste of your cash and time. The only organization that can name a star is International Astronomical Union. Giving parents your money for safekeeping as a kid. US private health insurance. Cutting out the middleman would save everyone money. It blows my mind we haven't changed anything. That the fashion industry is anything other than planned obsolescence designed simply to get people to spend money for no reason. That climate change is up to each individual to go green. It was a campaign by BP that pushed the solution as each individual going green instead of the dozen massive corporations that account for the lion's share of greenhouse gases. Going green is good, but it's a drop in the bucket compared to oil companies, industrial farming, and cargo ships. Edit. Lots of yet you participate in society, curious type comments from the usual contrarians. Your hot air is adding to the problem. That saving the earth is in the hands of consumers and not big companies. Tipping culture. It's how businesses scam the general public into paying additional costs so they could avoid paying their staff a living wage. Gestures broadly. This pretty much covers it fashion trends, and the incredible amount of waste it creates. If everyone learned how to mend slash alter garments in school, and value was placed on investing in a few quality made items instead of a closet full of disposable fast fashion, there would be way I, I less clothing in landfills and way I less demand for chemical laden garments to be cranked out in sweatshops. Our relationship to clothing is so warped. Buying second hand is a great way to wiggle out of the grip of the fashion industry if it's available to you. Normal television, paying to watch ads. Mega churches on TV and elsewhere. Insurance. My great grandfather was a doctor, and there were stories of him treating people, often for free. He and his wife helped an entire family with scarlet fever in exchange for a jar of blackberry jam. Trickle down economics. Life. Like, why is it so damn expensive? I didn't even ask to be here. Religion. 
A lot of us have been convinced that we are selling our labor to companies at the correct price, in reality we're selling it too cheaply. That getting older gives wisdom. I'm older and I'm just a cranky old fuck. The rat race. The idea that you are making progress towards a better world. Carrying on with the destruction and degradation of our own environment in the name of progress. The cost of education. Bottled water. Mattresses, diamonds, and home furniture. Massive markups on these items. The fact that airlines have X amount of seats per flight, but almost always sell X plus 10 seats and then refund you about 80% of your ticket cost. Do that to the 10 people and suddenly you have about 2 tickets worth of profit seemingly out of nowhere, and everyone still has a flight. Just an unbelievably immoral way to gain a few bucks, but everyone just goes with it since the airplanes aren't exactly a train that comes every 10 minutes. Needing a college degree for most high-level jobs when there is rarely any relevant knowledge gained from the degree relevant to the job. The 5 day slash 40 HR plus work week. 40 hour work week. Do what you love for a living, and you'll never work a day in your life. Pure bullshit that will kill any enjoyment that you ever had for it. Glasses we need pay to see, biggest scam. Penis enlargement pills gotta be up there too. No one wants to admit they got them, so when they don't work it's not like they're posting reviews or telling their friends they don't work. Car dealerships, and realtors. They get rich, and drive prices way up, and basically do nothing but get between people buying cars, and houses. The US healthcare system. Weddings. NFTs. One beer that costs $14 at a ball game and it's just totally basic like Miller Lite. GTFO of here. Overpriced healthy food vs cheap garbage food. Hot dogs are cheaper than carrots where I live, that's fucked. Edit. People you can't grow your own food in a small studio apartment or even a one bedroom with your partner. A lot of people can't afford the space for that but everyone should be able to buy healthy food at a reasonable price. Keeping up with the Jones. Anything for the consumer, it's all built to break so you have to buy it again. Insurance that doesn't even pay for what you need, so, most insurance of most types. A vast majority of people I've ever met would be better off putting the same amount they pay for various insurances into a savings account for emergencies, that they can then cover what insurance pretends to help with when things go wrong. But you have to have insurance, so on top of their other bills, paying for insurance, high cost of living, and having to pay for everything insurance says isn't their problem, people can't just do the savings idea. Capitalism College I'm honestly surprised more people don't look at the ludicrous amount of debt and say fuck that. But that's what happens when you're indoctrinated from childhood by your teachers and other adults who went themselves. The greedy exploitation of the young by the old. One mandatory arbitration agreement slash requirements. Two most NDAs and non-compete requirements. Three asset forfeiture laws where you get things taken from you without any due process. Four employers slash companies not being held to fair wage and hour and other employee guidelines, as well as not paying their payroll taxes. Funerals and everything involved with that industry. A lot of preying on vulnerable families that are grieving in order to make them spend thousands of dollars. Insurance. Gotta get in debt to build credit. Having to buy one before getting one free banks, in my opinion. They make money off our money, charge us to access it, and fine us for running out. Sometimes they take our homes. They've gone from a convenience and security to a social parasite, I absolutely hate them. That politicians have your best interests at heart and will keep to the word of their manifestos. 
Wall Street. How every single action by companies is about making money for the co. So that the stock goes up and bonuses are paid. So many problems in this country could be solved if Wall Street wasn't driving every single thing. Just look at Costco. Wall Street is drooling to take that over and reconfigure everything and make it into a money shitting pig. But the owner refuses to do it. It makes plenty of money as is and its employees are well taken care of. All MLM companies. Tampon tax. Condoms don't have tax but tampons and pads etc are considered a luxury. Needing something to hold the blood shooting out of my vagina is not a luxury. A period is something that women cannot control. Credit scores. 70% of majors in college. BLM. Continuous economical growth. We are so obsessed with growth when in fact it is an unsustainable model that drastically and quickly eat up our resources, hence destroying the environment and our planet rendering it uninhabitable in the very near future leading to our own suicide as humankind. Edit, Spelling USA The whole damn thing American dream Nope Liberty and justice for all Nope Freedom Nope. Capitalism. A fucking joke. Being born. It's all downhill and expensive from the delivery room. Involuntary government. We all acknowledge that politicians are clearly some of the very worst people, yet they dominate so many aspects of our lives. Price of medication. Most insurance companies. Pay them monthly so they can argue you don't deserve your money back. Taxation is theft. 33 BIL for Ukraine proxy war, barely a whisper of help during COVID lockdown. American taxation isn't for Americans' benefit. Taxes, I don't have a problem with taxes, it's just that you have to pay taxes over the taxes you already pays, and then the government just uses it for something dumb like a statue. Encouraging kids to go to college before they know what they want to do with their life. Working five days a week. This whole thread is just people mentioning the consequences of capitalism but refusing to just say capitalism lol. If you work hard, you'll get ahead in life. I suppose it's possible, but it's the least probable way of getting ahead. Having kids will bring a couple closer together. Well that's some prime bullshit. The promise to children that working hard is enough to succeed. Being an adult. Tipping. Defiantly tipping. Last night I went for wings, food took forever, got no refills on drinks, bill took forever. Yet society tells me I should pay an extra 15% because the restaurant doesn't pay her enough. As an outsider, the way Americans are controlled by the money makers. Just living in America is a financial scam, and what is worse, the citizens slash victims defend it. Partly through educational ignorance, i.e. the alternatives are portrayed as socialist etc. And partly because of media misrepresentation of what a successful society looks like, i.e. the masses are represented by the top 5% giving all the impression that the system is working for everyone. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.